Good morning, Summit County. Welcome to the Breckenridge side of our show. You're watching Summit Sunrise here on TV8 Summit. And I'm here live on location with Patrick at Carbor Winery. And we are actually down in the lower level where there's a lot of excitement going on down here because this is uh, pretty new within the last few years. You guys had a really extensive renovation for those folks that are familiar with the Gold Pan, longtime local favorite bar here in Breckenridge. And uh, you guys have kind of expanded beyond that and brought in Carbor Winery now, which is actually uh, a lot of local Colorado wines, which we'll get into in a moment. Uh, but first off, for folks that haven't had the opportunity to come check out Carboy, kind of tell me about what you guys have going on here. I know you have a, a full menu as well as uh, a very broad, expansive wine list. Uh, yeah, so we have a, uh, we have a full restaurant upstairs uh, paired with all of our wines. And, you know, we're, we're down here making wine uh, in the basement underneath the gold pan. Uh, we offer wine tastings. We offer tours. Uh, we do activities up at uh, Breckenridge Grand Vacations at BGV Peak 8. And uh, yeah, we, we have a lot to offer. So we, we really want people to come in and try our wine. And this is really cool. I hadn't been down here before today. I see numerous tanks and uh, barrels behind us as well. So you have a kind of a broad variety of wines that you're working with. Yeah, so especially over here, I, I really like to specialize in a lot of the white wines we make and especially sparkling. I'm really trying to uh, maximize our profit potential mm -hmm. uh, by making a little bit more elevated expensive wines but yeah uh, we do stainless steel we do oak aged fermentation uh, and we even have a, a new cider company that hopefully we could talk about later now speaking of uh, high elevation wines or elevated wines you guys actually have some uh, products that come directly from Colorado yes of course um, most of our grapes are actually coming out of Palisade uh, we're bringing in Grand Valley, that's the AVA, that's the viticulture area. And then we, we uh, bring in the juice, we actually crush it down at our Littleton location. I'll bring it here, uh, put it in my tank or in my barrel, and then we'll go ahead and start fermentation. But yeah, we're, we're fermenting, we're aging, uh, we're blending and bottling right here underneath the gold pan. Now tell me a little bit about that fermentation process. What is the whole production <laughs> aspect of that? How does that work? Um, you know, most importantly, uh, you got to start with a really good medium, such as good juice. You know, so so we actually start in the vineyard. We're in Palisade about once a week, and we're we're tasting the grape. Uh, once the grape hits a phenolic ripeness, it's we kind of like the flavor. All the numbers align. We like the the chemical analysis, and then we'll we'll go ahead and we'll bring the juice in here, and uh, we'll start adding the yeast. Um, and really, it's not much more than that. It, it's controlling the temperature um, and really just making sure you have a happy and healthy fermentation. Absolutely. And uh, this is actually, if you want to yeah. showcase uh, the Native Fizz here, this is actually one of the <coughs> products that you're referring to that comes out of Palisade? Yeah, we're super excited for this. Uh, this is a, a Petalet Naturel, also called a, uh, also called a Pet Nat. And basically what happens, uh, it started right there in this tank right behind you. Um, and it starts off just... Uh, Colorado grapes, juice, uh, in the primary fermentation. Mm -hmm. And actually, we don't do anything except for bottle it before that fermentation wow. ends. So it, it's actually the precursor uh, to champagne. You know, the monks back in the day, they thought the wine was finished, so they bottled it, and then it restarted fermentation ah. in the spring when it warmed up. So it's that same idea. And, uh, and what we have here is, is a really rustic, it's unfined, it's unfiltered, there's no sulfites added. Uh, this is actually our only natural wine, and it's really good. It has uh, great acidity, uh, really tight bubbles, and it's just really fun to, to make sparkling wine, in my opinion. That's what I live for. Absolutely. I can tell that you're very passionate about the topic of wine and very knowledgeable about it. And I'm sure, you know, the tours are incredibly fascinating, I would imagine, too, yeah. to kind of learn about this whole process. And, you know, it's uh, always fun to have a little taste testing in there as well. Yeah, definitely. And we offer a range of tours, you know, more general. Um, they're all a great value. I mean, you're going to come down here and you're going to drink wine. Um, but if you want the, the more in-depth tour, you know, I'll spend closer to an hour uh, with them and, and pull out barrel samples or uh, tank samples or, or whatever. Yep. Now tell me just a little bit about the, the food side of things. You know, you mentioned there's pairings available and I'm sure the menu is curated to kind of complement some of the wine offerings that you guys offer. Yeah, definitely. So our Carboy wine uh, tasting as far as the food menu is, is more small plates, uh, almost like tapas style, but it kind of has our spin on it. Uh, we have uh, like a couple new dishes like uh, we have, uh, let's see, sea scallops over truffled risotto that's really selling well, uh, tuna sashimi. Uh, and then we just have like garlic and herb fries, which are great. I mean, 
there's just so many things you could pair with the food and the wine. Yeah. And we do offer full entrees. Um, our dinner upstairs just crushes it. Um, so if you want to come in for dinner, uh, try to come early. Or, you know, in happy hour, again, we have a great happy hour. We have a discount on food and wine. Do you encourage, encourage reservations then? Uh, you know, we actually took the reservations away because okay. um, we, we were going through um, an online service to do that. And it really took away from the people just trying to come in the door. Sure. And a lot of people would actually double book. Uh, reservations uh, okay. and, and they would they would leave us hanging uh, <laughs> and, and we're just too small for that so sure. so we want to encourage people just to walk in right off the street and we want to take care of them and it really is a very comforting welcoming space upstairs uh, here in just a moment you'll get a chance to actually see uh, the dining area just above us actually and check that out later on in the show but thank you so much for hosting yeah. us here this week this is really cool and I'm excited to learn more about the production aspect of the wine as well as the yes. wine itself yeah thanks thanks for coming in so stick around you guys we will have another chat with Patrick later on in the show we're gonna take a quick break but don't go anywhere because we have lots more good stuff to come